Hello and welcome back to Leafs Talk, right here on TalkingSports.tv, brought to you by McCain's here at Charlie Fitzwitzky's. Joining us right now on the line, the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Woo! Wayne, Woo! Wayne, thanks for taking the time to be with us. Hey guys, thank you very much. Wayne, first of all, uh, I know you watch a lot of hockey games. Uh, I'm sure you saw the collapse last year of the Toronto Maple Leafs in the playoffs against the Boston Bruins. They went out and did a lot of uh, uh, retooling. One guy they brought in who you probably saw a lot of on the West Coast, Jonathan Bernier, a lot of people speak very highly of. They went and got a little toughness in David Clarkson and David Bolin. They brought in Paul Ranger, who took a couple of seasons off. Uh, what do you think of the moves that the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs have done here in the offseason, Wayne? Well, first of all, you know, it's day one, and uh, obviously everyone's really excited about opening day. Uh, I, I know it's uh, one of the greatest games that you can play all season long is that very first game because you've been waiting all summer and all off season to get ready. And uh, probably more so their hockey club than anybody after uh, suffering such a tough loss in Game 7 in Boston. As you said, uh, could have could have been a Toronto Maple Leafs victory, and unfortunately it wasn't. A lot of times, uh, teams and players and individuals learn from, from losing. And I know it's a cliche, but it's a fact. And uh, I'm sure that's going to make the Toronto Maple Leafs a better hockey club this season. And as you said, they've gone out and they've added some very uh, key pieces to the puzzle, some players that I think are really going to be a benefit to the Toronto Maple Leafs. And they look like a really good, solid hockey club. And... You know, they got a tremendous general manager in Dave Nonis, and they got a very good head coach in Randy Carlo, who's uh, won a Stanley Cup. And uh, I think getting Bernier really solidifies their goaltending position in the sense that now they have two solid goaltenders and two guys that they can lean on. And if one guy gets hurt or one guy's a little bit tired, the other guy can go in and they won't miss a beat. So I think that uh, they're, they're going to be a very tough hockey club this season. I look, I look to that at Toronto Maple Leafs to have a great year. Hi, Wayne. Um, question uh, going to the Western Conference. What do you think about uh, another old, uh, well, the old team of yours, Los Angeles Kings? How do you think they're going to fare this season? Well, I've said this before. Um, you know, Jonathan Quick, if he's not the best goaltender in the National Hockey League, he's definitely in the top three. He just seems to play his best hockey in the biggest games. Um, I like their leadership in Richards and Carter, and Dowdy's uh, proven to be uh, just a tremendous athlete and a great hockey player. And um, most importantly, Daryl Sutter's done such a tremendous job coaching this team. I think this is uh, the best coaching job he's done in a long time. He's won a Stanley Cup with his club. He really believes in them. They believe in him. And I, I think L.A. and Chicago uh, are the two of the teams in the West that are two of the better teams that uh, teams better watch out for. I think I look to the Kings to have just a tremendous year. Hi Wayne, Nikki here. Uh, my producer just whispered in my ear and wanted me to put you on the spot and ask you if you're joining the Leafs front office, but I'm not going to do that to you just yet. Let me ask you this. Your first team, the Edmonton Oilers, had a really great young core, including yourself, Mark Messier, Paul Coffey. Do you think the young core that they have right now has dynasty written all over it the way that your team did? Well, first of all, you can't believe everything you hear or read, and if those players uh, just kind of tune that out and just go play and practice hard and prepare every night. They're going to be, become great hockey players. You get into trouble when you start believing your own clippings. And you know, We were young and we were fresh and we were in a lot of ways naive, but we loved to play and we loved to compete. And The bigger the game, the better guys like Messier played and Coffey played and Grant Fuhrer and Kevin Lowe. And if those guys can accept that responsibility, they're going to turn themselves into a very strong hockey club and a very good hockey club. Um, but it takes patience and it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it's, it's a hard game. The National Hockey League is a great league. The players today are better than when we played. The teams are better than when we played. And it's hard to win. If you get your name on that Stanley Cup, you've earned it. So I hope the Oilers have a great year. The fans have been patient and, and the uh, ownership has been patient. And I, I really i am pulling for them to have a very solid season. Hi, Wayne. Um, just wondering if you have an allegiance to any team, uh, any of the teams that you played on or anywhere you lived or any kind of team you kind of root for more than, than another. Is, uh... Uh, you know what? Probably it's pretty simple for me. You know, if the Oilers are playing, I pull for them. If the Kings are playing, I pull for them. Um, the Blues are playing. i got a lot of good friends there still, and Brett Hall's now in front office there, and I pull for them. And 
of course, I had uh, three great years in New York, and I love being in New York City. And, you know, I hope the Rangers do well. So I don't have sort of that one favorite team or that one team I hope does better than another team. I just kind of pull for them all. And, hey, listen, I, I have the greatest job in the world now. I'm just like every other person in North America. I'm just a big National Hockey League fan and a big hockey fan, and I get to enjoy the games. And it's great to see here when, in California where I live, we have two really good NHL teams, one in Anaheim and one in L.A. So that makes, it, uh, that makes everything exciting for the game of hockey in California. Okay, Wayne, one quick question before we go. Just two-word answer. Who's going to win the cup this year? <laughs> I always say until the team who won the cup last year loses, they're the favorite to win. I think Chicago's a great hockey club. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Wayne. Wayne, thank you so much for dropping by. Really appreciate you stopping by. I always love getting you on. All the best to you and enjoy uh, the hockey season, Wayne. Yeah, and to all the Leaf fans, enjoy the Leafs. I think they're going to have a great year. Woo! Thank, thank you, you so much, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Woo! That was the great one, Wayne Gretzky, joining us on the program. We're going to head to break. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Bill Waters right here on Leafs Talk on TalkingSports.tv, brought to you by McCain's here at Charlie Fitzwitzky's. Don't go away. Yeah.